Welcome to Fiscal Integrity Group, your ticket to bookkeeping greatness. Hi, I'm Herb Holst. Welcome to Steps in Getting Started in the Industry. Since the beginnings of bookkeeping, and sadly I think it's still happening today in many parts of the world, including my own country of Canada, the thinking is that it doesn't take much training to be a bookkeeper and get started in this industry. We know better. In many countries, we don't have any regulations covering the licensing of bookkeeping or even a set of minimum standards that bookkeepers must abide by. For the most part, anyone can buy an accounting program, a computer, a calculator, watch a few YouTube videos on how to use the program, and then set themselves up as a freelance bookkeeper. We have often seen how an office administrator, a spouse, or a family member has been thrown into the position without any knowledge of what it takes to be a bookkeeper. Why is this happening to these poor, unsuspecting people? As often as not, it's the business owner who thinks that anyone can bookkeep. It's not rocket science, right? Just managing some numbers. Therefore, my 16-year-old daughter can do the books. We've actually known of a situation where this has happened, where a 16-year-old was put in charge of the books for a very, very intricate company. Not a good situation. But it certainly explains why we're in our current situation. 30% of our own business came from cleaning up the poorly managed books by other so-called bookkeepers. Many of these files were in such bad shape that it became very costly for the client to get them back in order. Uh, oftentimes, the need for a catch-up or clean-up was because of government tax agencies demanding it. Great business for us, but times are changing and it's coming down the pipe where education and certification is going to be a must and it's going to be mandatory. Getting a jump start on all of this will fast track your career and place you ahead of the crowd. You will be more accountable for your accuracy, your utility, and your accountability to your uh, client or to your boss. This is why we are doing these information sessions or knowledge nuggets. In this knowledge nugget, we will talk about the programs in the public and private colleges first and why you need to continue from there after you graduate. Let's take a look at your future. First of all, start with the fundamentals. Trying to establish a foothold in bookkeeping with no formal introduction to the process is very difficult. The problem today is that it's not regulated and therefore it's not illegal to do so. If this is you, let me illustrate. I'm going to ask a few questions, see if this resonates with you. Do you know? What is full cycle bookkeeping? What is a debit? What's a credit? What are assets, liabilities, equity, revenues and expenses? What is a balance sheet? A profit and loss statement? A trial balance? How do you track inventory in the books? How do you take care of payroll and source deductions? How do you take care of the various taxes that the company is involved in? You get the picture? This is all standard, entry-level stuff that every bookkeeper should know. If you find that you, you don't know about this, you need to go back and get some formal training. You need to get the fundamentals in place right from the start and proceed from there. Go to a reputable college, business college or school or association and take some of their accounting and bookkeeping courses. In our company, Fiscal Integrity Group, we essentially take over where these colleges and uh, institutions leave off, but you need to get there first and get their knowledge in place. This is the start point to make your mark in this business. Appreciate that the real world doesn't follow the nice clean business models that you're going to learn in these classes. Uh, the reality can be somewhat more complex and frustrating from what you've come to expect from the colleges, business schools or organizations. The real world is entirely different. So where do you go from here? Well, for starters, you may want to consider catching some real world experience from wherever you can get it. That important toehold will let you know what it's all about and at the same time give you something to put on your resume. Speaking of resumes, if you're looking to get that uh, initial employment, construct a top-notch resume and cover letter. You may need to have more than one of each as you should highlight the qualifications to match what the requirements is from the potential employer and you need to again just basically show that you're the best person for the job. As such an employer, I would receive many resumes and cover letters that would essentially ignore the qualities and qualifications that I'm looking for. And needless to say, this would hamper their chances at uh, success when I'm uh, in the process of hiring. Now, am I throwing away the baby with the bathwater? Possibly, but I need a start point, and that start point is going to be the resume. Like it or not, it's got to speak to what I need and what you have to offer. Let the prospective employer know that you are paying attention and that you are looking to match their requirements as close as you can. And don't be worried if you don't match all the requirements. Very few, pe few people do, but if you have most of, most of the requirements, and especially the ones that, that are key to getting this job, you need to 
illustrate that in a top-notch resume. If necessary, and tweak your resume and cover letter to make match their requirements each and every time. A great resume and cover letter is basically going to land you that face-to-face -face interview. That's the all-important thing because this is what's going to potentially seal your success as the chosen candidate. This is where you really need to be on the top of your game as it will make or shake break those chances. We have other knowledge nuggets that will take care of this and I'll let them do so. If you do get the job though, don't give them a reason to regret or doubt their decision and their selection of you as the successful candidate. The next bit of advice is to concentrate on one accounting program for starters. My personal favorite is QuickBooks, others prefer Sage 50, there are lots of proprietary programs out there. Regardless, take one and get good at it. You may still find some companies out there doing all their books on spreadsheets, but this is somewhat unrealistic in this day and age, and it doesn't make for full cycle accounting. The accounting programs will keep the whole process in one nicely integrated package and it will allow you to complete and close off a given time period and quickly generate the reports necessary for tax remittances and for owner management of the company. The checks and balances in the programs can also help you minimize or at least mitigate posting errors. Okay, learn, push to learn and apply the entire accounting cycle in your endeavors. This is what it's all about. This is what a bookkeeper does. If you're not doing it, you're not really a bookkeeper. And don't be overwhelmed in the early going. Programs like Sage 50 and QuickBooks are very mature programs and can take care of many different kinds of companies. They are very detailed and can be somewhat intimidating, uh, but they will allow for and cover the entire accounting cycle. Start by using what you need to get the job done and expand your knowledge and range as the opportunity arises. If the, uh, if the term entire accounting cycle throws you for a loop at this point, uh, go back and review what I mentioned about formal education in a business school or college. You need to be able to do an entire accounting cycle, full cycle accounting. Use the accounting program the way it was intended and keep the journal entries to a minimum. Uh, you should know what a journal entry is as well. Having said that, you may need to make journal entries from time to time for things like uh, accountant adjusting entries or whatever, and also for entries or, or transactions that don't fit nicely into the regular modules of the accounting program. You need to know your debits from your credits and how each impacts on assets, liabilities, equity accounts, revenue and expenses. Again, if this throws you, go back and say, take a look at what I said about formal education or get into our knowledge nuggets on this topic. Don't take shortcuts in doing the books for anyone. A professional set of books will speak to your commitments as a professional and it will show that you are the professional. You wouldn't want a mechanic taking shortcuts on repairing your vehicle or a doctor taking shortcuts on repairing you. Think about it. From here it's all about expanding your knowledge and expertise. We invite you to take as many of our nuggets as, uh, as possible that uh, you need in order to help expand this knowledge base. At some point when you feel you're at the top of your game, uh, consider going it alone as a freelancer or a contract bookkeeper. You can then add staff and really start to grow your practice. In other words, you're putting yourself in business uh, as a business person as well, not just a bookkeeper. So to recap, start with the fundamentals. You need to establish your base before you can proceed further. Get some formal education. This will put your career uh, in perspective and give you a start point to launch that successful career. Catch some real world experience. It's truly different from what you learned in the schools and it will um, allow you to really get a grasp on what the world is going to do to you. Okay, have your resume and cover letter. Reflect what the position you're looking for and what you're going for. Make sure it is geared to the potential employer. Do your very best when you do get that job and don't give them a reason to regret the decision to hire you as that successful candidate. Make yourself an expert in one of the accounting programs first and then expand from there. You need to get good and then you can expand. Get to the top of your game as for full cycle bookkeeping. This is crucial. This is what a bookkeeper does and if you're going to be a bookkeeper, do it as a bookkeeper. Do the full cycle accounting or bookkeeping. Be able to do proper journal entries with accurate debits and credits when the need calls for, when necessary. And don't take shortcuts on the performance of your duties. Attention of detail is crucial in a, in a bookkeeper and it will make sure that you're uh, going to advance down the road. Keep expanding your knowledge. It should equate to higher earning as well. A good uh, employer will see that your utility is better for them and will see that the value for you should equate to dollars in your pocket. Consider going into freelance or contract bookkeeping. If being in business is attractive to yourself, this is the route to go. So there you go. 
Thank you for watching and all the very best of luck. Until next time, I'm Herb Holst. Fiscal Integrity Group, your home for the advancement of bookkeeping and bookkeepers.